I think, you know, the cloud is one of the major uh, digital trends that have been accelerated by uh, COVID. And it has, COVID has acted as a, a trigger for acceleration. And while we all hope uh, for vaccine or vaccines uh, all over the, the planet as soon as possible, I think the COVID will have acted on many enterprises as, as a trigger for acceleration. And this move will not be stopped. Just looking at a, a recent deal that you did with Tim, uh, this is a, a effectively a, a way to provide innovative solutions to implement a hybrid cloud platform. I was talking to Ginny Rometty at IBM the other week about a hybrid cloud and it, it, effectively you get a lot of interoperability between services and platforms that you may be operating. I thought it was fascinating because we're all watching ahead to 5G and what that unlocks in terms of super fast uh, services. What does this deal mean for the business community who have been moving aggressively towards more digital platforms? It means a lot uh, because we've been talking about cloud. Now we're going to have edge. At the moment, just a simple number, at the moment, 80% of the data is produced in the data centers, meaning in the core cloud, and only 20% at the edge, at the periphery of the infrastructure. In five years from now, it will be the reverse. 80% of the data will be produced at the edge. And this is what this partnership with Tim is about, is making sure that we can orchestrate the data both in the cloud and at the edge. And if you add on top of this, the power of 5G, you've got an incredible cocktail of new services. The um, challenge is going to be the same as I think it was, though, at the center, isn't it, um, Ellie? And it's going to be around security of that data, and it's going to be around uh, operating under jurisdictions that have different rules. You've already had to conjure with the prospect of operating in many different countries uh, with servers. If we go to an edge computing model, there are even more complexities around regulation and the security of that information. This is very true. This is very true. But at least what's good with the edge is that you know the localization of where the data is processed. And this is our job then as you know, digital services provider to make sure that we can orchestrate across uh, all those countries. If you take the example of Europe, for example, we are a founding member of the Gaia-X initiative which is a very important initiative to gather a re very reasonable but very sensible policies and rules which are compatible um, and which translate the values and aspirations of uh, European citizens and European enterprises to make sure that the data is processed properly, usually locally and with the proper uh, uh, rules and policies. Can I ask you um, f f a slightly different question and it's one about the um, risk that we end up with different systems. Um, I, I know it's been talked of a, a little bit that the US and China are, appear to be heading in their own directions on technology. Where does that leave a company like yours, which is having to operate globally? It's a great question because this is exactly our purpose. Uh, this is exactly our role in this ecosystem to make sure that if we have different systems, we can have 12 different systems because of local rules, we are the orchestrator of all this. So we're building the bridges in between all those systems. This is what we do already between high, you know, private cloud, public cloud, different public clouds, on-premise infrastructure. And tomorrow we will do that between cloud and edge and different jurisdictions. This is already what we're doing today. And this is exactly our role in this value chain of the cloud.